everyone, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In this video, I am taking a trip to the Goodwill and I'm going to show you different sections through the Goodwill that you can go to find things to flip on eBay. There's lots more, but these are some of the areas that I like to look at in the Goodwill to flip on eBay. So I'm going to be showing you items and I'll be showing you solds on eBay to kind of give you an idea what kind of prices you could be asking. One of my go-to sections is jewelry. I like to pick up jewelry because it's easy to store and it's easy to ship. One of the things that might be easy to start with if you're just getting started is bracelets. So here's a bangle that's sold on eBay for $48.99. When I'm looking at jewelry to resell, I try to look at quality and style. So the colors here really stand out. Another thing to look for are brand names. Some people really like Brighton Jewelry or Judith Ripka. Taking a look at jewelry to see if it's signed is another way to decide if it's something you should pick up. Another thing to look for is sterling silver and gold, naturally, things that look like they are made from precious metals, generally do pretty well as well. I've done a ton of videos about different kinds of jewelry and how they sell. This is a video called Bracelets That Sold for $25 plus dollars for me that I will link. I'll also link some jewelry selling playlists down in the description box below. Another area that I like to hit are the linens. This would be things like tablecloths, napkins, vintage sheets. Um, there are lots of great collectibles and a lot of good money to be made there. Here are some examples of some recent solds on eBay. Some G.I. Joe 1991 sheets sold for $75. Remember the California Raisins? This sheet set sold for $34.99. And here we have some vintage Ralph Lauren and also some Mickey Mouse sheets that have sold for pretty good money. Other linens to look for are napkins, tablecloths, placemats. Um, brands that I like to look for are Pottery Barn, also vintage ones that are embroidered seem to do pretty well. I'm going to link a couple videos here. I talked about linens with Caroline and Nadine one day. I share a fabric haul and explain why I picked up what I picked up and a video on how I shipped fabrics. So check out the links to those videos. Another fun thing I like to pick up are fossil tins. A lot of these can be lotted up and sold on eBay. I like to get them for pretty cheap though. Usually I'll get them at garage sales for maybe a quarter or less. So here you can see empty fossil tins, different sizes, different designs selling for 20 bucks or so. Some of them are collectible on their own. So it's nice to know which ones could sell for 18 bucks by themselves. So if you are out there and you see them, consider lotting some up. Certain brands and promotional items can sell for pretty good money too. This Lego beach bag, well, they wanted eight bucks for it. Um, I went ahead and bought it, but for myself, but if it were cheaper, it would have been able to sell on eBay for, I think it was about 18 or $19. Another thing I like to pick up are Bibles. I didn't pick up this one, but I showed it for an example. There are certain Bibles that can sell for really good money. I generally don't buy them at Goodwill. I'll pick them up at charity shops or garage sales. Certain glassware can be really collectible and sell well. This one is so-so, depending on the price you pick it up at, but I've got a video where I share certain pink glasses that can sell for really good money. Also blown glass, things like that can sell for pretty good money as well. Another one of my favorite things to sell are mugs. Yes, people buy used mugs. So find ones that are brands like Farside or favorite characters like Garfield and people buy them, they really do. So here are some examples, some Starbucks ones, and this is just a Maine lobster that sold for $20. Um, I've done a couple of videos about mugs, um, how I ship them, how I buy them, and I'll link this video where I share mugs that have sold for $30 or more. Another section I like to look through are the wallets. I look for good quality in certain brands like Coach or Lucky, Fossil or Loungefly. Another section I go through are the bags and purses. So I look for uniqueness and I look for good quality leather. Another thing that is a good find is lands and certain bags that they sell go for really good money. Any Scout families in the house? Well, if you are, you know that Scout stuff is expensive. So if you see it at Goodwill or at garage sales for a good price, pick it up because you can sell uniforms, hats, slides, neckerchiefs, 
for some really good money. Those Scout families really want to save, so they're looking on eBay to buy their kids their Cub Scout stuff. Another thing to look at in the book section are cookbooks. There are cookbooks that can go for really good money. This is one I was actually just looking for for my kids, um, but yeah, it didn't go for a lot of money, but let's take a look at some that do. A lot of the vintage boys and girls or kids cookbooks can go for really good money, so definitely check those out. And then some favorites out there are Betty Crocker cookbooks. I see them all the time. I don't always pick them up. I probably have three or four of them, but take a look at the prices for some of the vintage Betty Crocker cookbooks. These come in like a big red binder, so they're really easy to spot. So if you see them at garage sales or at the Goodwill, then take a look, look them up, take a minute, um, and see what you could get for them. So another thing in the book section to lot up would be Harry Potter books. I have a stash where I keep my Harry Potter books till I have a full set, and if you do, you can get really good money. So this is a complete set with the DVDs that someone sold for $125. Then you can also sell mixed lots where it's like some for our hardbacks and some are paperbacks, like these ones for about $45. So they don't even have to all match, but if you get a full set, throw in a Beetle the Bard and you're good to go. So something else I look for usually with the games are science kits and craft kits, usually new and sealed. And I almost always find at least one in the Goodwill. They don't always go for a lot of money, but as a homeschool mom, I'm always trying to save a dime. So here, that paracorn loom that I was looking at is going for about $13.99. But if I picked it up for a buck at a garage sale, it would be worth it. Here are a couple other DIY like science kits, you know, around 20 bucks. So if you find them for a buck or two, they could really be worth the flip. So I'm seeing like things that are foam, things that are slime, crystals, volcanoes, things like that, um, that can go for, for pretty fair money. I'm gonna link a bolo playlist for you here. These are bolos that other thrifters have shared that you can check out for things that they've picked up and what they've sold them for. And I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Go down there and leave me a comment about something that you like to pick up from Goodwill to Flip on eBay, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.